Bury an egg in your garden soil, what happens few days later will surprise you. Good soil means everything for a gardener looking to raise healthy, happy plants. While there are certainly countless chemicals and egg expensive solutions, there are actually many simple things you can do to boost nutrients and maintain a successful garden. Curious to learn more? In this video, I'll show you 6 ways to make any type of soil enrich with nutrients naturally after which you will never feel the need to buy those expensive chemical fertilizers. 1. Raw Egg The solution for a thriving plant may be as simple as planting a raw egg. As you prepare your pots with soil, simply include a single raw egg at the bottom. Over time, the egg will decompose and works as a natural fertilizer for the seedlings. You can also use crushed eggshells which work just as good as whole egg. Eggshell has calcium, nitrogen, and phosphoric acid which make them an ideal choice for garden use. So next time you boil or fry an egg don't throw away the eggshell but instead. Recycle them to grow seedlings. When the seedling is ready to be planted outside, place the shell and seedling directly in the ground. The eggshell will decompose over time and help fertilize the soil. 2. Banana Skins Bananas contain a number of nutrients including potassium, phosphate, sulfur, calcium, magnesium, and sodium. All of these things can help promote healthy growing for plants. Best way to effectively use banana peels is to cut them up into small pieces so that they can decompose faster. This will result in organic matter that helps establish rich soil. 3. Ash If you have a fireplace, you'll love this free method for raising pH levels. You simply scatter the ash around the soil as a way to lower acidic levels. This will make it easier to grow a fresh crop. 4. Leaves Allowing leaves to rot over a garden during winter will provide nutrients for the soil to prepare it for the next growing season. The leaves work to pull the organic matter back down into the soil making it dark and rich. 5. Epsom Salt Epsom salts are especially good for soil. Low pH levels are usually an indication of a magnesium imbalance. To boost pH levels in the soil, dilute Epsom salt with water and spray on the plants. The vegetation will soak up the welcomed nutrients. 6. Use compost regularly. While using bits and pieces of natural matter can be helpful, combining many pieces of compost will only go one step further toward enriching your soil. There are a number of benefits of using natural compost regularly it works to improve the soil structure while using less water and warding off common plant diseases. The soil benefits from added layers of nutrients, especially before a growing season. For homemade organic pesticide every gardener must know. Homemade organic pesticide aphids, spider mites, and other pests can cause serious damage to flowers, fruits, and vegetables. These creatures attack your garden in swarms, literally draining the life from your crops and often inviting disease in the process. Many chemical pesticides can prove unsafe for the environment or may make fruits and vegetables unsafe for consumption, however. Thankfully, there are many homemade, organic options for you to turn to in your war against pests. Remedy 1 Using chilies and garlic, combine 1 half cup, 113 grams, of hot peppers with 1 half cup, 113 grams, of garlic cloves or onions. You may also use both onions and garlic. All the vegetables should be chopped prior to use. Blend the vegetables together in a blender to form a thick, chunky paste. Add the vegetable paste to half a liter of warm water mixing the ingredients together thoroughly. Pour the solution into a plastic or glass container and allow it to sit for 24 hours. If possible, keep it in a sunny location. If not, at least keep the mixture in a warm spot. Next, pour the solution through a strainer, removing the vegetables and collecting the vegetable infused water into another container. This water is your pesticide. 
Pour your pesticide into a squirt bottle and spray on the affected plants. Remedy 2 Using orange peels, peel an orange and place the peels into a glass container and pour 2 cups, 500 milliliters, of boiling water over the peels, allowing the solution to sit in a warm spot for 24 hours. Next, pour the solution into a strainer, removing the peels and saving the citrus infused water. Add a few drops of castile soap. Peppermint scented castile soap may prove especially effective. Mix the solution thoroughly to combine. Pour the pesticide into a large squirt bottle and spray the entire plant to ward off most soft-bodied pests. Remedy 3 Using Neem, combine 15 ml of neem oil with 1 half teaspoon mild soap. Many believe neem oil, which comes from a bitter tree leaf, to be one of the most effective natural pesticides in existence. Mix the neem and soap into 2 liters of warm water stirring slowly but thoroughly. Pour the pesticide into a spray bottle and spray on spots where you can clearly see pests or signs of pests. Remedy 4 Using Tobacco Mix 1 cup of tobacco into 2 liters of water. Sit the mixture out in the sun or in warm location, allowing it to rest for 24 hours. Check the color of the mixture. Ideally, the pesticide will look similar to the hue of a light tea. If it is too dark, dilute it with water. If it is too light to see, allow it to sit an additional few hours. Add 3 tablespoons of mild liquid dish soap to the solution and mix thoroughly. Pour the mixture into a large squirt bottle. Shake the solution inside the bottle once more to combine it further and spray on affected plants. Eight vegetables and herbs you can regrow again and again inside your house or garden. Here are eight such vegetables and herbs you can regrow again and again in your garden. Do you throw your garlic bulbs out once they start to sprout? What about your potatoes when they get a little wrinkly? How about ginger root that sits out on the counter too long? Well, you could be getting a lot more value out of your produce than you may realize. Many popular edibles can be regrown from the scraps you are likely throwing out. Keep watching for a list of veggie scraps you will want to hang on to, from here on out. 1. Basil Basil is a breeze to propagate. Simply take some healthy, fresh, 4-inch cuttings from a young basil plant. Leave just two sets of leaves at the top of each cutting, and remove the remaining leaves. Then, submerge the cuttings in a few inches of clean water. It may take between one to two weeks for roots to form after which plant it in a small pot for the windowsill, or out in your garden. 2. Mint Another herb worth growing from cuttings is mint. Much like basil, you'll want cuttings about four to five inches in length. Remove lower leaves and place the cuttings in clean water. Once roots develop, transfer to a container filled with potting soil. 3. Green onions and scallions Do you love to toss some green onions on just about everything? Buy them once, and then grow them from the scraps on a windowsill. Place the root left over from the green onions in a couple of inches of water. And in just a few days you will notice roots form but also the leaves will start to grow. Continue to harvest while in water, or plant in a container of potting soil. 4. Ginger Root Have you ever bought ginger root and noticed little buds forming? Plant it. You'll have fresh ginger to harvest soon enough. Soak the roots overnight to encourage growth, and then you can transfer it to a container filled with potting soil. Ginger doesn't like standing water, so make sure your container has drainage holes. 5. Garlic if your garlic cloves start to sprout, plant them. Garlic is one of the easiest plants to grow over and over again. One clove planted in the garden, in either early fall or late winter depending on your area, can multiply into a bulb of multiple cloves. 6. Celery Celery follows the same protocol as many others. Once you use the celery stalks, save the end that's left over. Place it root side down in clean water for around a week, then transfer the celery to rich, well-draining soil and watch it really start to take off. 7. Lettuce Buy a fresh head of lettuce, make a salad, and plop the base of the leaves you are left within a couple of inches of water. Within a week it will begin to regrow. 
and 8. Sweet Potatoes If you love sweet potatoes, consider growing them yourself. Submerging more than half of a sweet potato in a glass of water and sitting it on a sunny windowsill. Wait for sprouts to form and reach 4 inches or so once roots form and grow a little, plant out in the garden. Eight Surprising Reasons to Use Hydrogen Peroxide in Your Garden Hydrogen peroxide ranks up there with baking soda and vinegar as one of the best multi-purpose products to have stocked in your cupboards. Typically used to sanitize injuries, hydrogen peroxide can also be used somewhere quite unexpected, the garden. While not strictly an organic solution, hydrogen peroxide is safe for use in any type of garden including vegetables, plus it's easy on the budget. Here are 8 benefits of using hydrogen peroxide in your garden, 1 peroxide helps seeds grow faster. You can speed up the growth of seeds by soaking them in a weak solution of water, and peroxide for a few minutes before rinsing and planting. 2 peroxide works as a rooting agent. The key to a strong, healthy plant is a good base, the roots. Give your roots a boost by dosing them with a little bit of peroxide. This can also help revive limp leaves. Spray a peroxide slash water solution into the soil around the plant. 3. Peroxide keeps bugs away. Skip expensive chemicals at the store and spritz your plants with 1% hydrogen peroxide to keep bugs at bay. 4. Peroxide can prevent infections on cut plants and trees. Treat infections on plant leaves or roots with a spray of water and peroxide to disinfect the area and prevent the disease from spreading. You'll want to douse the area with a lot of the water slash peroxide solution for the best results. 5. Peroxide helps aerate the soil. Plants of all kinds need three basic things to survive, food, water, and air. If your soil is too compact that means the roots can't get enough circulation to properly grow. Plus, soil that's too dense is a breeding ground for disease. Apply two parts water to one part peroxide to the roots of your plant to help aerate the soil around it. 6. Treat your water with hydrogen peroxide. Make the water you feed your plants a little healthier, by adding a bit of peroxide with the water in your watering can before applying to your plants and lawn. The peroxide removes chemicals and pesticides from tap water, making it healthier for your plants. 7. Peroxide helps heal sick plants. In particular, a peroxide is a great option for treating root rot. If your soil is too compact, root rot can develop. Use 3% hydrogen peroxide mixed with water, 1 part peroxide to 2 parts water, and pour it over the infected roots of your plant. And 8. Use peroxide to disinfect garden tools. Stop the spread of disease in your plants and garden by sanitizing your tools. This is especially true after finding and treating a fungus. Jut soak your tools in 1 gallon of water and 2 cups of peroxide. Have you ever used hydrogen peroxide in your garden? Let us know in the comments below. You will not believe what tangerine peel can help you with. These 7 recipes are pure salvation. Wow! Everyone likes the nice scent of tangerine peel, but almost no one is aware of its numerous incredible benefits. Tangerine peel has numerous surprising uses, so continue watching the video to learn more about them. Once you learn how to use the peel of this citrus fruit, you will think twice before throwing it away again. Here are the top health benefits of the peel, treats digestive problems, dry some tangerine peels for a few days, then grind them in a coffee grinder until they turn to powder. Now, add a teaspoon of the condiment to any of your dishes or drinks to treat digestive problems such as bloating. Adding the powdered peel to your cup of coffee is ideal and will give the coffee a great scent. Treats Bronchitis Mix 2 tablespoons of powdered tangerine peel with 5 glasses of water, then boil the mixture for a while and leave it to cool down for an hour. Drink 1 half a cup of the remedy 3 times a day, half an hour before your meals to relieve the symptoms of bronchitis and treat the disease. Treats Dry Cough Mix 2 tablespoons of tangerine peel with a glass of brandy then leave the mixture to stay for a week in a dark and dry place. Strain it afterwards and pour the mixture in a dropper. 
Take 20 drops of the remedy in a glass of water three times a day before your meals and you will easily treat the dry cough that has been bothering you for a while. Treats the common cold, take a handful of powdered tangerine peel and put it in a pot with boiling water, then breathe in the vapors for 10 minutes. The powerful relaxing properties of the peel will help you breathe easier and prevent infections. Treats toenail fungus, rub a tangerine peel on your feet and nails twice a day to relieve fungal infections. Fights fatigue and insomnia, put some tangerine peel in a bag and inhale the aroma for 15 minutes. This method can relieve headaches, fatigue, and insomnia. Citrus fragrance oils have long been used as a remedy against fatigue, stress, insomnia, and other sleeping disorders. Regulates your blood pressure and arrhythmia, add a cup of powdered tangerine peel and 3 liters of water, then boil the mixture and leave it to cool down afterwards for an hour. Strain it after that, then pour the mixture in a hot bath and soak yourself in it an hour before going to bed. Now that you know these amazing uses for tangerine peel, you will never throw it out again. The peel will satisfy all your daily nutrient needs, and the peel can also help you overcome many diseases. Travix.